Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to door and wall clip. Um, but before that, I just want to say that you shouldn't use this tech to go outside of a map where other people can't reach you. Because uh, that's kind of a dick move. Alright. So, uh, it's not really that hard, and you can get pretty consistent at it if you practice for a short amount of time. Uh, but before we talk about how you do it, you have to recognize that there's there's you, there's a special set of circumstances in which you can do it. Like on this door to my right, it will work uh, all the time, but on this door, it won't ever, pretty much. Um, the reason for that is this this piece of block right here. There has to be a block right above you, the he your head when you're f like touching the door here. Here, there's there's nothing right here, so it won't work. But if I if I went over here, it would. All right. So um, in order to do it, all you have to do really is you run at the door just like this. But before you hit the door, you see how I don't get all the way to the door. That's because I'm letting go of right before I get there. And that's pretty much the most important part, is that when you hit the door, you don't want to be holding any input controls, any movements. And if you if you hold movements, it just doesn't work. Like, if I, if I hold right when I do it, it won't ever put me in the wall. And that's the mistake people make, is they just hold right and they spam ragdoll a bunch, and they just hope they get in the door. And after like 30 seconds it might work, but if you just let go of right, it'll work all the time. Um, so you just, you run at the door, hold the direction, and then let go, and then hit ragdoll twice. Around the same time you let go, you should hit ragdoll twice. It's not, it's really lenient if, on the timing, so. Let go, ragdoll. Let go, ragdoll twice. Let go, there you go. It works both sides. Um, it also works on things that aren't locked doors. Locked doors are one of the easier ones, um, but it'll work on actual walls. The timing is a little harder. For me, I like to stand next to the wall when I do it because if I mess up, I'm already right by it. I don't. You don't have to run at it, but it'll work if you run at it either way. Uh, it's a little bit harder. And when you're going from the left, there's You can just pop back up when you so it only it only really works when you go from the right on the wall. But with the door, the trick to the door is you want to hit ragdoll before you uh, you open the door because once you open the door, the, it doesn't have a hitbox anymore, so it's pretty useless. But if you time it just right, it's really hard. You can get up there. Again, you just run at the door, let go of uh, movement, and then hit ragdoll twice. I'm really bad at this. There we go. I should mention that if there's an object behind the, uh, the door, it's way easier. It's just the same as the locked door, pretty much. But it's still hard the other way. Oh, I got it. All right. Um, it also works on both of the, I'll call these sliding doors. Um, it's pretty much the same input. Once you get, once you have like the muscle memory for the inputs on the locked door, you can transfer it to all the other doors. This is the pyramid door from random maps. Uh, a couple uses for this tech is, are, uh, is on this map. You can do it both doors. You just kind of have to, after you go through, you gotta hit ragdoll or hit jump a bunch to get to the other side. It also works on this side. One more thing to note on this map is uh, sometimes people will like spill fire down here from, from this barrel. So what you can do is uh, if you're here, and you hit ragdoll again, you'll pop up over here. I don't know why, you just do. Um, this door, the one over, it's right below me, it'll also cause you to pop up here. 
On this map, uh, it's pretty hard, but you can do it on this window here. And you can you get to this gun up here way faster if you get if you're consistent at it. Uh, it's pretty useful. It also works down here a little bit, but then you have to do it twice. I'm pretty sure it works on the other side. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it just works on the right side, I think. On uh, this map, uh, this is one of my favorite uses for the tech, honestly, is uh, if you have this, and let's say this gun is empty, you don't have that anymore, you can go through here, and you can shoot people with this gun if, if they're like hiding here, waiting for you to come out, maybe they're gonna throw a nade or something. It's really, nobody ever expects that you go through here and then shoot them. And if you if you like kind of jump a bunch, you will almost always end up here from going down through the store. Works on the other side too. One last thing um, on this map: so when you spawn up here, sometimes the person down here, if they're good, will shoot up at you like this. And if the bullet RNG is good, that you pretty much always die. But you can use this tech to clip through the window and get up to the top. Um, if the window is already broken later in the match, you can you can do it on this door too. All the doors you should be able to do it on. That wasn't bad. There we go. Uh, I believe it works on this side too. Let me check. Yep, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.